coach was talking about trust defensively and how you guys don't have that right now. What do you think? How, how did you get to the point where that's lacking and how do you think that? Um, yeah, I think the main thing is we just got to talk more. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is, um, you know, just being able to hear that somebody's there. You know, I might think that somebody's there, but um, having that voice in your ear saying, hey, I got you on this side, I got you on this side, our screen's coming, you know, stuff like that, that, that really goes a long way on the defensive end. And um, I think sometimes we get a little quiet on that end and uh, that hurts us. With this a bit of a wake-up call for you guys, Coach was saying that, this kind of game you have to win a couple, you know, one, two months from now. Yeah, you know, it, it's definitely better for something like this to happen now than later um, in the season. And uh, you never want to lose a game, especially if they win like this, a big opportunity, um, a home game. Um, but you know what? They, they, they played very well today. Uh, they had a good game plan for us, and they executed it uh, to a T. And, um, you know, we just got to watch tape and learn from it and try to get better. As seniors, how do you guys kind of you know, push forward that urgency that it's not just about today, but it's about seeding, it's about not Pac-12 championship, whatever it is, but it's about the bigger picture and not just one game. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you never want to lose a game, especially at home uh, in a great environment like today was. Um, but yeah, you know, the bigger picture is it's still early in the season. You know, we got a lot of games to play and, and we've had a really good start. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of teams that um, are 18 and, or 19 and two uh, through 21 games. so. Uh, we got to remember what got us to this point and continue to, to be confident in everything we do and uh, just try to, you know, move past this one, learn from it and learn from our mistakes. But at the end of the day, uh, like you said, it's one game and we got to just move on. Isaac, what were they doing to disrupt you defensively two days after you uh, had such a big game? Um, I think this game is kind of like uh, contested the three um, and ran out pretty hard, um, which I should have mixed it up. Uh, mid-range mid game, a uh, little pump fake, just to get them in the air and, and make plays out of that. Um, but I think they kind of just defended uh, the three very well th this game. Um, like I said, I should have mixed it up, but, you know, that's just how they played, and that was their game plan, and they executed. It's a bit more distracting all the publicity, all the national celebration of how well you all played and everything. Is that all, at, all, at all distracting to you? into this game and that it's just kind of game ground you, you know, as far as believing your press conference. Um, I mean, you'd think it would, but to be honest with you, I don't think, um, I mean, speaking for the rest of the guys, I don't think any of us pay attention to that stuff. Uh, it's been a, a very good group of guys who just, you know, we pay attention to the locker room. Uh, the voices in the locker room are all that matter to us. Um, what our coaches have to say, what, we, what each other have to say, that's what we listen to. Um, and, uh, I, I think that's why we've had a lot of success so far uh, and not let our, our heads get too big when we're getting praised or um, we have a bad game like this and then knock it down on ourselves. So I think that's why we've been able to be successful and uh, we just got to continue to do that. Uh, despite any defensive struggles, do you think it was possible if you guys would have shot the ball a little bit better to, to have outscored them? Um, you know, I don't know about today. I think uh, we shot the ball, yeah, like I said, not very well today, not our best, but um, you know, getting 96 points, that's hard to, that's hard to come, up, uh, come away with a win with that. So um, maybe, maybe if we made a couple more shots, obviously uh, we lose by 11 and you know, we had a couple, you know, I missed a couple open ones that I normally make and uh, probably hand the same. Everybody was kind of a little bit off, but I think uh, most of that comes from just the defensive end and, and you know, getting scored on constantly, that kind of messes with your offense too. I think nobody really knew that Trier was going to play until yesterday. How much did that throw a wrench in your preparation, if any? Um, I don't think it really did too much. Um, coach, you know, we just emphasized, you know, Cat and kind of the pains. And we knew him coming in last year playing, and then when he played, you know, he's more of a driver and more aggressive uh, scorer. So we kind of just played him as, as if we were going to play uh, Kid Simmons or, or, or Alkins. Um, you know, God is going to be just aggressive and uh, just maintaining them. Um, but yeah, I think, like Price said, but you back when Lee said, you know, we just got to get stops. Price, when you know, you're going so well, and then you have a hiccup in the middle of your season. What, you know, what does that do to you? What do you think you're going through? Um, if anything, it just makes us a little bit more sharp, I think. Uh, you know, the same thing happened at Oregon. We were undefeated, um, playing really well, ranked second in the country, and we lose a tough one. We lose a, a late lead um, in that game, and then we, we rally off five in a row after that. Um, 
two big time road wins against good uh, opponents and then uh, got another good win uh, the other night. So I think if anything, it just reminds us of, of what we got to work on, what we got to do and, and how we got to this point. So uh, I don't think it's a negative. Obviously, you don't ever want to lose a game, but you know, we got to try to take positives from it and just move forward. All right, thank you guys. Also, you were clearly more aggressive looking to score today. What point did you kind of click in that you needed to do that to, to try to help the team win today? Uh, from the start of the game, I know it's a big game, and um, usually big game, coaches want me to find aggressive. Was this a game of wake up call for you guys? Um, you know, we got a guard. What we got out of it, we got a guard. Going forward, pick that up, we'll be fine. Well, it seemed like you guys were uh, making a little comeback in the zone. Uh, switching back to man to man, what kind of went into that decision? You feel like you guys played better in the zone or the man? Uh, we just ran out of time. You know, we couldn't sit in a zone for the last four minutes of the game. They just eat clock up. We felt it went man to be better, and so we did. How good did you feel about things when you came charging back? You got to think with him, too. Still a lot of time left, and they were able to respond to your emotions. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they responded. You know, uh, like I said, I always play to win, so obviously I'm not going to think we lost until we hit zeros. And um, Arizona played a good game. And like team assists were down for you guys a little bit in the first half, especially. Did you feel like their defense forced you all into a little bit more of a one-on-one? -on -one uh, game? I just, you know, didn't hit shots. We were stagnant. Uh, picked it up second half once again. You know, offense is not the problem. Uh, did you see them change the way that they played defensively as you showed that you were trying to be aggressive today? Uh, no, man. I had the ball. I thought I could score. I was just trying to put it in the Lonzo, coach said that you guys needed this. Or, you know, your, your force needed to be snapped. Did you feel that uh, to a degree? Uh, yeah. You know, it's a wake-up call, man. The places we want to go, we don't have to play defense. And that's a perfect example right here. Going into this game, a lot of people said that Kadeem Allen would be guarding you for most of the game. Were you kind of surprised that they kind of pulled off with Kadeem on you? Uh, no, man. They shot a lot of different people. Um, they were going to play through the game. What do you think of that, that club? They're, they're highly ranked, maybe not as high as they should be. It could be. How good of like an opponent is Arizona? Yeah, Arizona's a great basketball team. Um, they showed it tonight. Arizona, the people at Arizona were talking about why the Keys was limiting their turnovers, which they did. I mean, how, why, was, why was it more difficult for you to force them in this game than maybe some other? Um, you know, that's smart. We're getting transitioned. Not a lot of teams can stay with us. I took care of the ball tonight and have a good game. Uh, Thank you, Alonzo. Thank you. Thank you.